of sunshine when she's gone It's not warm when she's away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house is not a home Many times she goes away Wonder if she's gone to stay Wonder if she's gonna stay Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house is ain't no home Many times she goes away I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Got a man and leave young kids alone. Anytime she goes away. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the David Need Show. This is the fifth episode, and I'm here with my dear friend Tigan, who's also a singing teacher and just a great singer uh, all by himself. And I will ask him a few questions, and he'll yeah, let's do this. Tell us a bit about how he got into music, yeah, and this kind of stuff. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> great. All right, so. Tell us a little bit, how did you start first with singing, with music? What's your background story? I mean, I know you come from a musical family. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, my father uh, was a singer, uh, was an opera singer and also sang a lot of uh, g genres of music. Armenian, uh, uh, we came from Armenia to Israel. Uh, Armenian, uh, Steve Wonder, uh, American music, uh, rock, Deep Purple. Musical, so uh, I have like uh, I have in me a lot of uh, genres of music. Uh, so and all all the time, you know, and my father used to play music, uh, even though he knew like maybe two chords in the on the guitar, the same two like two chords, but he was just singing like a different song. Right on the <laughs> yeah. I mean, guys, like, you, you know, you, you just need four chords, right, to play <laughs> yeah. pretty much any song, and then there, are, if you if you know the A minor and the C. The difference is just one finger. So you can oftentimes use the A minor where you use the C and vice versa. And the same is true for, let's say, F and D minor, because they're kind of parallels. So it makes sense that you could play a lot of music with yeah. just two chords. Yeah, exa exactly. Like, I remember like in, in dinners, like we eat things and then he took his guitar. Just like two or three, I don't know, chords and like <laughs> singing, you know. Great. It's, it's enough. We like... And it's, even if, if you know four of it, it's... You can make uh, play some real music. Yeah. So, so you said you have like a background of all kinds of yeah. different genres. Um, could you just give some examples of how they differ in terms of singing, in singing style, you know, mm. like something that is more like a classical sound. What's the difference? Uh, you know, is one better than the other? Are they just different? And, and yeah, yeah, just get I, into it a bit. I think it's it's a matter of of of, of culture, you know. Like uh, like I remember I, I remember that uh, I I used to sing uh, the Armenian hymn. So the Armenian hymn is like you know, probably in in every country is is is, is some uh, some similarity, but like it's like uh, I don't know the, the exact lyrics, but it's like. Uh, <laughs> It's like an heroic. Yeah, it's like a heroic uh, thing. Yeah. So I think that the technique and like all all these kinds of things are are coming like from 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 the from the the I don't know how to say it like the aspect of of singing the the, the culture effect like if it's heroic so it, mm. you will sing this in a different way you can't sing like this pop music you know right because it's a different it's a different feeling you know it's like if you like uh, some songs you know like, like Enrique Iglesias you know like uh, he's like 
I wanna dance with you. You know, like yeah. it was like a, so it's like more more passionate, more like you know, <laughs> so like more more passionate. Ah, that, that felt good. The second touch felt yeah. really great. <laughs> so it's because uh, like in in the end of 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 the day, you know, it's 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 a matter of of emotion. Yeah, it's a matter of emotion and and uh, yeah, it's basically it's emotion. Then you can say oh, have fun and everything, but emotion is that's the key. having fun is, is is also emotion. So it's emotion. It's, it's emotion. It's trying to to sing in the way that you you would uh, say it, and you know feel it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Um, now. Is there a genre that you feel most at home in? I mean, I hear you sing a lot of R&B really mm. well. Mm. I also hear you sing opera, mm. which is like very different because like a very, you know, la, la, it's like very strong and, you know. So yeah. wh uh, where do you feel most at home? <laughs> What is Tigran's yeah, uh, emotion? Or, or do you have the whole range? Yeah, so the, the thing is, uh, because I, I, have, uh, I have like, I, I consumed like a, uh, different things all the time at, at the same time so I have a couple of things that I, I feel uh, m m more at home of course like hard rock or things that I didn't consume really like so I, I can't sing you know because I didn't consume but uh, I think that as, as much you consume like I, I can say that I can say that you know, like the, if if there's a period that I listen to a, a lot of uh, like opera stuff, and then I like okay, let's let's say I I, I listen like two hours of opera, and then I'll try to sing like R and B. Uh, it it will be different if I listen now for two hours of R and B singing, and then I will mm. and then I will sing because it's it's a matter of like to put in your you need to consume it before. To, to get into the, into the mood, to get into the, the the riffs and runs, like to have the ideas in your in your head, because uh, if if I think that the R&B singers they are amazing because they are consuming this and they're doing this all day long mm. with their group in the gospel. In the, they are not like jumping really from uh, yeah. all day. They are they are listening to uh, people that riff amazing. They, you know, in the evenings uh, they have fun and going to concerts. And so all the surrounding is like is consuming, you know. Yeah. So will yeah. you later give us some tips about riffs? I mean, I want to get into the story first with you, yeah. but would you be able to do that and give some different genres, give some songs you really like? That'd be cool. Yeah. All right. So, um, what really inspired you to make music a profession? Hmm. Uh, Inspire me. Uh, I th I can say the 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 love of singing and music, and also and also uh, like okay. So I'm, I'm I also teach. I also coach. So and I also uh, I I saw that I can uh, coach. Then and I, and I like this also. Yeah. So it's it's. Uh, Of well, well th that's really modest and everything, but let me just jump yeah. in. Like, okay. you, you coach like really famous people in Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I work with uh, with a couple of uh, yeah really famous. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what what is it you like about <clears throat> teaching? Yeah, like uh, I think that uh, the thing that I that I the the, the exact point is that uh, because I like from little age I also like play the violin and, and everything. So. And all the the small nuances are very important. So, from little kid, the, like I, w when I consumed music, I always like paid attention to the to the smallest nuances. And then, like after time, you know, when I sang and and I heard like different singers in Israel, I heard that they are not paying attention to mm. the to the small nuances. So I so I thought to myself, okay, I think I can jump in and. And help them get better. Yeah, so it's and understanding where you can. And do, make do a you think of the because learning the violin there, you need to actually form the tune, and it can yeah. be out of tune. That it's something really you need to pay attention to 
very tiny changes of your fingers. Do you it think sharpens the ear. ear exactly? It sharpens the ear like crazy. So you yeah. think that had a, played a big role in you being so able to help people to sing? I think I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, yeah, so basically the, the, the big thing is uh, is also the, uh, how to say, the, the way of, of practicing that you have to practice like, you know, you, you, it's, you know, it's, it's about, it's not about just practice, it's, it's to consume, to, it's to consume, practice mm. is consuming, you know. You need so to it's, basically... It's not, yeah, it's not just, oh yeah, let's practice, no. Practice is consuming, you know. So you need to immerse yourself in. Yeah, you have to practice. is It's consuming. It's you can or listen, of course, consume by you know by doing this also, and it gets into your uh, your your mechanism. Uh, so it's not just practice. Yeah, I I I like the the word consume better mm. than uh, than just say you know practice you know because practice sometimes it can be not like fun oh you have to practice yeah mm. no, so but you have to well yeah from from you know studying with you i know that it's a lot of fun i mean we do technique and you know it's important but <laughs> yeah. we also always apply it to music and you you pay very close attention to trying to let it flow and you know expressing the feeling and yeah and uh yeah so uh, and and and, and uh, like uh, as we said it's like it's it's it sharpened the ear like uh Yeah. No, the 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 the, the quickness of like uh, to, to know that okay now I'm like to to go exactly on pitch you know like right. feel like big jumps on the violin so okay you know like yeah and then you have like a split second to make it fit yeah because like, that sounds kind of good right yeah, but if it's too slow it's yeah, already it's like always, okay it's more time yeah. To, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So, so it, it's a good thing to learn that as a kid, I guess. I mean, yeah. in my personal history, I learned the cello, right? So yeah. It's similar. It's also a melo melodic mm -hmm. instrument where you need to create mm -hmm. the tone with your right arm, and you, you know, and you need to be really on pitch, and you have the jumps. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can totally relate to that. Yeah, I think it's it's also a matter of like, it's uh, like okay, like you asked me about like riffs. So it's it's about uh, it's about the, the quickness of of, how, uh, of of seeing the notes mm. and and doing the notes uh, and of course like uh, it's it's a matter of like also memory. Can, can you give me an example or us everybody? Yeah, so like just some uh, riff that you yeah, can like uh, with a I, bit of a song maybe, and then you yeah. you break it down. Okay, cool. so let's say I, I think that the well, okay, let's try to take. Uh, uh, Okay, let, let's let's uh, even take the, yeah. the, the Ain't No Sunshine. Okay. Do you so, need to play or you no? No. If if I if, okay, if I do like Ain't No Sunshine, eh, eh, Ain't No Sunshine when she's gone, gone. So like this small riff, because I I I've li I've consumed it a lot of years. So like. And I did this, you know, like consume and, and try to do. Listen, consume, try to do. Like a after years, you just remember, you, you have your bag, your arsenal, you know, of yes, of like course. riffs. But uh, now when you learn a new riff, it, you, you have a process to it, right? Can you, yeah. can you explain how you, what would be the steps? What, you listen to it, you say, oh, that's cool. Then you listen to it again, you try to figure out the nuances and then you try to do it. Or like, like what's your process? To, to add some more tricks to your bag of tricks. yeah like uh, basically okay, the, the, I think that, that uh, like there is a way that uh, you can uh, teach like uh, in a, in a, in a me methodical way uh, but basically like uh, at first when you hear it's it's about it's about uh, uh, the, the, the memory it's about how, of course if it's like really fast, It's hard, you know. So you have to like uh, to make it slower. Like if you, mm. if you want to uh, duplicate, like to, to copy, like one uh, like uh, w uh, run. A run is like a like a long riff. Mm. Uh, so you have to like make it uh, because because the people that are making the, the riffs and runs, like in the gospel or in the R&B, they're improvising, mm, and okay. and the the best runs 
are improvised. So it's not that they learned uh, a run, a long run, and then they are trying to do this. No, you, you can't. It, it won't be like flu fluent. Okay, you know? do you want to improvise like a couple runs? Right? Okay. So I'm just okay. going to play the same... Okay. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone Ain't no darkness can be bright <laughs> cool. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And she's always laying no home Anytime she goes away So like basically, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like like the second or third thing that was really cool. I, I, like, yeah, I'll listen to it later with yeah. the video. Yeah, so like if if like uh, one one thing about the riffs, like uh, you have like uh, different types, you know, but uh, th th there are like uh, people that the, the one type is like a riff, a run is you're going like uh, with the scale like that. Like, like 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 I did, you know. So you have to like, you have to know the scales in, in your head. Mm. Like, and then you can like f f fall yeah. on the stairs of the. So it's really on pitch. Yeah, and it's like yes, yeah, yeah. you have to do it exactly. You have to know the. The notes. If you don't know the notes, you know some 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 people come to me. Okay, I, I'm trying to do this, but this riff I, I can't do this. Of course, you, you don't know the notes, yeah. so you can't do. <laughs> it's not trying to do something that you don't know what what you mm. aim for. So. Um, so you have to hear it first. You, you have, have to, to understand it, mm -hmm. or or you have to imagine it in your head or something yeah, like this. It's, it's like seeing and feeling. And yeah. then you practice the mechanics. So first is the idea, and then you practice the techniques and being precise and everything. Yeah, mm. yeah, and uh, and of course and you slow it down. You said you, you do it slowly yeah, 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 yeah. and you speed it up. Yeah, because if it's new, it's like after you get uh, you you have the control and you like you you can do the the the. Mm, the 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 long runs like on the scale or like there is also the up and then if you hear like a, another thing you can try to do like fast because you you are uh, able to do some things fast but if if you're like trying so of course you have to take it uh, a little slow you know yeah and, and it's so. okay you know like some people uh, are like feel bad if they're oh I need to slow it down why you know like so they yeah. feel not 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 professional, you right. say, you know. That doesn't sound no. like... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Stevie Wonder. I want to sound like Stevie Wonder. <clears throat> Even, okay, I, 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 will, I will say the, the perfect example. There is a, do you know, Avery, Avery Wilson? He's uh, like yeah, the, the, the riff the, guy. Yeah, the, he's, he's, um, like, he's crazy. It's a great YouTuber, actually. Yeah. Shout out to... Avery Wilson. <laughs> You're awesome, man. Yeah, so, uh, and uh, by the way, he commented on one riff that I did of his, and, oh, he, and he commented and he like, it? yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was uh, there amazing. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Uh, by the way, you know, we, we will do this in the end, like more in depth, but also if you want to check out Tigon, he is a vocal coach here in Israel, so you can book lessons with him, he also does Skype lessons, Yeah. and uh, just w where do they find you? Uh, okay, so you can go to uh, tigranvocalcoach.com. You can. Uh, this is my website, or in Facebook, Tigran uh, Vocal Coaching. Uh, this is the Facebook or uh, Instagram, uh, Tigran uh, Vocal Coach. So everything is Tigran Vocal Coach. <laughs> <laughs> Tigran Vocal Coach. Tigran is T I G R A N. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. So the, the the example that I wanted to say, every is like is is a beast. In, in in you know you, you've heard it yeah yeah it's crazy so but it's crazy like when when he improvised but when uh, I was uh, on a show with 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 Natalie Wise she she teach, she, she demonstrate how to make riffs and runs so they took a riff I don't know my, maybe by Beyonce or Mariah Carey like a run so of course it was hard for him because it's it's a new thing so he mm. couldn't do this you know. 
and then she tried to like uh, teach, him. teach him like how yeah so you have to because it's new because if you improvise you just mm. improvise you, you don't owe anything owe anything to nobody you know mm-hmm. so uh, so basically there is like R&B and one of the main characteristics are riffs and runs and you just improvise a lot and practice them slowly fast and yeah. become better at it. this is how you approach that and yeah. so how about and, and consume 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 youtube consume immerse consume. yourself into it watch others do watch it gospel. listen to them and also the singing the singing style oh, okay so you know, it's about this what's like different how does it feel different where's the yeah so it's i don't like if, okay i'll try to think like about uh, of course like uh, like Of course, a black guy will sing like differently than I. Like every everybody has to find their own like, like uh, style. But of course, you can't you can't sing like. Uh, okay, let's take. Uh, uh, I'm jealous of the way it falls upon your skin. You can't sing. I'm jealous of the way. You know, it's it's yeah. not musical. You know. Right. It's like more more uh, jealous. Of, it's more like speech and jealous. I'm jealous of the way of the rain and uh, I'm trying to think about uh, like uh, no diggity how are we starting uh, I forgot <laughs> I like the way you work yeah. no diggity so yeah. like this yeah. she's got a place to start and done a word in my when I better work by you know like oh, like cool, yeah. different like She'll knowledge for the sun. And the back man pins the bird, pins the bird. Nice. Uh, so it's like it's uh, like it's just consuming and then you know like and then uh, you you do it like your way but in in the in the style, you know, you don't want to like go off. You can you can do this musical but it will be a different thing but. actually yeah yesterday I listened to do you know Jose Feliciano no who is it it's like um, where was he born in Cuba or something and then he became a star in the US and uh-huh. he is singing covers uh-huh. but he is um, he's just a fantastic guitarist mm. so he gives everything this and it's like a flamenco style mm. almost mm. but he does it uh, I think also he plays you know Sunshine but he ah. like he sings really loud like with this like <laughs> Spanish sound you ah. know but with a flamenco type it's just it's a revelation I love it because it's it's ah, his it's own it, he it, makes every song his own exactly. every cover he plays sounds exactly. like an original and uh, though it is a very different style you know it just came up so I uh, highly recommend it if you're a guitarist and you want to learn like, some picking check <laughs> out uh, Jose Feliciano really cool yeah. I think it's like it's the matter of where you want to go you know yeah it's not like what you have to do no you need to choose your uh... so so you were just in Italy you yeah. returned a month ago or so <laughs> just, yeah. how did that happen what, what's what brought you to Italy yeah so uh, the pizza <laughs> just yeah they know how to do the bread <laughs> with the uh, onions <laughs> yeah no but basically uh, it was uh, because of uh, Of uh, the the desire to to develop the, the operatic uh, style of singing, so uh, so I decided to go and uh, for two months I was there like two months, and um, yeah so I I went to check like things like where where is the best place to 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 learn to to study or a conservatory some some academy or. Or by uh, by by pr- uh, private teacher, mm. and uh, the the outcome was the, the private teachers. No, oh, really, because yeah. you think that there are some famous you know schools, universities, conservatories, yeah. whatever they call them, uh, but it's really it's even though they have the name, it's still better to study with private teachers. That what you're. Yeah, so I think the the, the 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 times are changing. Like uh, the, one of the greatest uh, opera. Opera singers were was uh, B- B- Beniamino Gili, and uh, he was like uh, around 100 years ago. Mm-hmm. So he studied like in one conservatory that I wanted to study there, but uh, of course the teachers are different now. <laughs> so, but uh, there are like three teachers that remain. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
but uh, they're still alive. They're 140 years old now. <laughs> yeah, they're a lot of experience, you know. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> and uh, but uh, so uh, it's it's like a weird because I I've met his uh, I don't, not not granddaughter like. Uh, Grand granddaughter. Grand granddaughter. Oh, cool. yeah. Does she teach music? No, she she studies their uh, piano. Mm. It was crazy. She told me, you know, maybe my my grand grandfather, uh, Benjamin Algeria. I said, what? Is he your? I was like, I was like with goosebumps because yeah. Do you listen to was, his? Of course. Yeah. After Caruso, he was. After Enrico Caruso, he was the name. It, it was crazy. No, he's one of them. I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? Yeah, your eyes light up. It's like it's somebody you seem no, to really it's love. it's crazy, you know? Like, um, and, uh, yeah, so, like, I met, like, a lot of uh, teachers and, and students, and they told that uh, that um, the, the, the people that study in the, in the conservatory study voice outside with a private teacher. Mm. So... Okay, so here's a tip for you guys. If you want to study opera, find a great <laughs> opera singer that teaches you privately. And that's all there is to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And, and make sure that, uh, that he's, uh, he's still active. He's not just like teaching. So he needs to be active that you will see that his voice is still good. You know, I, mm -hmm. like one of the lessons that I took uh, was uh, with, uh, no, of course, now he's not active because he's 77 years old. Uh, 700. <laughs> and, uh, but his voice is like, still like uh, young really like young like young voice it's <laughs> I find that super impressive about operatic singers that uh, also when they get older their voices are really strong they they even seem to get even better often you know mm. where with rock singers that's also sometimes the case yeah but I think like of course that there are like like if if you keep uh, in opera like a good also like also like uh, the also in opera you know if we uh, dig deep you know it's a lot of conversation inside but but uh, if you sing with like good technique and everything so it can keep your voice uh, going mm. like if you like after 40 50 60 if you like start to like uh, not to just uh, sing like to to let it out and i don't know like not doing like doing the high notes really open like uh, di stefano His voice after 50 years old, it was amazing before. But after 50, uh, because I studied also with his student. Mm. Now he's 80 years old. Wow. And uh, yeah, and he told me that after 50, like he was no, not, not, not so good. Because he, he used to like take the G's and then the A's like really open. Like, ah. <laughs> ah, that not, is not, like... not taking like more uh, correct. Uh, and, and that is damaging long term. Like, yeah, yeah, because he was like yelling a lot, like all the high notes, yeah. like, because he wanted to make it like emotional. Yes, well, it does make it emotional. Yeah, it, it is, but uh, but uh, like, I like some parts I, I don't really like because if you open like uh, if you, you if you belt the A, it's not the sound is not uh, it's like more like yelling. Yeah, it sounds a little flat. It's, you know, like the, the A to make it ha. Ah, it's it's not oh, it's not like bel canto. You know, it's yeah. not like Mario Lanza or Caruso, like oh, like the resonating thing. It's like more like open like yelling. Power. Yeah, like ha. Ah, I don't know. I, I don't really like this. Well, a lot of pop singers also do it, like uh, Ed Sheeran, right? He's singing yeah. the A, like really. It's a little out of the range. It becomes kind of. Yeah, it sounds great, emotional. Yeah, but you know? in opera it's it's not because it's not like bell canto, you know, like the proper ni nice resonating way. You understand? In yeah. pop, in pop, it's different because it's more like speech, you know, and uh, yeah, so it's the it's different a little bit. All right, cool. So in terms of <clears throat> of somebody who is, you know likes to sing maybe mm. his friends tell him you sing well you know, mm. maybe he didn't have lessons he had few lessons like what are a couple of tips that you could give him to really make the 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 biggest change in you know how 
the music resonates with people and how you can enjoy and really make good music mm. without you know having to study opera yeah. for six years like yeah. what can you do today to to sound better to have a nicer okay song? okay like two two things that i i recommend like two tips if if we so you can you can do you can do like a small like really like three second exercise mm-hmm Like uh, if you sing uh, sing something, I don't know, easy something. Like I don't know, some short thing. Um, okay. Like, I'm a, I'm of the deep. Like from uh, this. Place. I'm on the deep end, watching you diving. I'm on the shallow now. Okay. Now 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 do this. Hey hey hey. Hey hey hey. Again. Hey hey hey. Now sing again. I'm on the deep end watching you diving I'm on a shallow now what 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 do you feel I'm more flu flowing I, I was much more flowing yeah because the hair he is 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 getting the 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 does it sound better than the first time of course yeah of course I'm gonna listen later but you know you guys are really the judge you, you can just leave a comment if yeah. it made a difference I, I think it I, was a big I difference I swear to god I didn't, didn't like try to sing bad the first time <laughs> I was just going with the flow there's nothing scripted here yeah because if you if you if you're like I'm of the deep so you are here but um, when you are doing hey 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 so the, you, I'm on the deep and watching I feel also the, so it's like it's coming from here you know yeah so it's And this That's is like, like five second thing that you can do. Really, you, you can do this and you will feel it. And uh, the second thing is like, uh, yeah, it's like... Is that the support already? Like, of yeah. Start yeah. of it? Yeah. That's what they call yeah. the support? Yeah. Because you have something to... Like if you say, he... If you, but if you like, hey, hey, he... Oh, yeah. Very different, but relaxed. Controlled. And, yeah, and you can uh, yeah because the, 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 I think the, the thing is like this if you if you like try to sing something and, and you're not succeeding like you feel that it's going like closing yeah and then you're like, F, pushing G like, or, or, like, yeah <coughs> yeah and, and you feel and, and you feel not good like you feel that I did that you're you're doing so the, you're not, you don't have the, the power source you know down here mm, so it all comes so from you you have to yeah because if you if you sing if you hear like a great like good singers uh, the, the, like or, or they're trained or they're making this like in their in, in natural because they're Intuitive. doing this uh, from little age but it, it will come more from here because the, you can't sing like high notes really from here it's everything like combined you know The whole body yeah it's like I don't I don't, don't want to get in like too much uh, to explain you don't need just need to like do a couple of exercises to 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 get you in a better position like, yeah uh, well I can tell you from just what you told me though huh huh was it hey good? hey 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 uh, yeah I feel how this you can, you can responds. Do like, hey brother hey brother you feel that Yeah. It's like, it's not, hey, hey brother. Hey, brother. Blah, 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 blah. And also, I feel the whole body is yeah. resonating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, a very different experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so it's just to get into this feeling, feel really the physical, the body, the everything, and, and then connect to the feeling, emotion of the song. And that's yeah. like the best tip you'd say for yeah, and to make your singing better. Yeah. So it's like, it's doing this. And uh, yeah, you have to like, a, again, like practice this to consume this feeling, you know? And, and of course and when you sing don't don't uh, like a, a lot of singers sing and then they and then they, they, they like want to like sing right away the high notes amazing you know mm, yeah well everybody wants that. I know they, they sound know. cool and impressive yeah, yeah. You know, but a... but they, they need to understand that the let's say minimum 50% percent or, or more of the song is, is not a high note. Right. You know, maybe 80% of the song is, is, the, is not the high notes. <laughs> I 
I know it's like something. Right. So you it's need like to the make... icing on the cake thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's like it's a, kind if, of an if you icing. just have the little bit of icing, it's not not gonna be a very yeah. nice cake. <laughs> exactly. If yeah. it's not a good cake and you put a good icing, yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not gonna make it. <laughs> People it's won't not buy make it. for a happy birthday. Yeah. yeah. But if you have, the, uh, if you have like good cake, you know, good singing, like good emotion, the high notes will come. You know, it's not. It's That's actually it's very hopeful because, you know, it's like so much in life. You know, when you try to push, you try to figure out the strategy, the technique, you mm. push, you push. It's like Sisyphus. You, it's kind of, you get the technique, but unless it comes from inside and it's like internalized and you have done it a lot of times, exactly. it's just not the same thing. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, like I, I say... You're going to have to cut those out. <laughs> Sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes, you know, when I sing and like starting a low notes, like within you the bed, and then and then you go from this position and then you touch the high notes, it goes because it comes from the internal feeling, you know, the internal uh, thing, you know, it's not just I'm starting to, to sing the low part, but I'm thinking always like on, on the high note. Oh, like, oh my gosh, there's soon gonna come a high note. So the, 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 the <laughs> So the eighty percent of the song will not be good, will not be beautiful. Yeah, that makes sense. And also the twenty, because it won't be good. Yeah, <laughs> because if you if you try, then <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Well, if, if anybody tries too hard at anything, it's just not very attractive. You don't want this person exactly. around. You don't want to listen no. to him on stage. It's like yeah. If, even even singers, uh, there are singers that I I see in the concert or in the YouTube. I know that they are like waiting to to try to show off the high notes, and that and it's not that good. Yeah. And, and you you say, uh, yeah. You see this a lot at open stages actually, where yeah people go on stage and then instead of singing the song, they sing all the time. You know, j just riffs, ninety percent riffs, and you're just like, okay, yeah. buddy, it's like you know, cool, you can sing. It's really not that interesting. It's like you know when you. Yeah, it's it's just it's just not really also music. It's like an ego thing or something. You see, yeah. also people walking up on stage and they already think, oh, "How do I look? How will I sound? Will they like yeah. me?" You know, you, you you can see that if a person is in this frame, but if a person just comes from the inside and I'm just going to share my music with you guys and yeah, that's diff me. Yeah, that's, it's different. You know, yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's really different. Cool. All right, let's wrap that up. Okay. Thank you so much for coming by. Okay. Always awesome pleasure. to have you around. I, I love to make music with Tigan. He's a fantastic singer, in my opinion. Ah, thank and, you. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I hope that was valuable for you. You let's just repeat where they can find you. TigranVocalCoach.com. Yeah, yeah Tigran Vocal Coach. Uh, you can write in uh, Instagram or like in Facebook everywhere. But uh, the website is TigranVocalCoach.com. Uh, yeah. 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 And then yeah. also, if you happen to be in Israel, uh, there will be a big event in January. Yeah, January. Uh, Probably the tenth and the twelfth. Uh, I'm inviting uh, Cheryl Porter to uh, shout out to Cheryl Porter. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cheryl Porter. Uh, she's an amazing singer. Uh, so n now she lives in Italy and uh, she has like over like one million uh, YouTube uh, subscribers and everything. So she's like famous, and uh, I got to know her uh, personally in in Rome. That I in Italy now. And uh, so I, I'm inviting her for uh, two days of a master class. So if you're in Israel or near. <laughs> yeah, if you want to fly and see Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, you know. If you're but, from Greece, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. sorry. But, but uh, whatever, you know, if they want to come, they come. No, but, but the, the master class thing, is that only for like experienced singers? Is that the, like, what's the deal? Yeah, about? so it, it, it's not like really beginner. It's not for really It's beginner. not for beginners. Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, intermediate and... Uh, but um, you also mentioned before that there will be an audience and stuff. Would that be something that also helps beginners? Or is it really more targeted towards more advanced singers? Or let's say people who sang, well, what do you mean? Like half year of training... Singing by themselves a lot, like who is it good for? Yeah, like as, as as I said, it's like it's not like for really beginners, and not like if you like 
sing for a couple of months no no if you like uh, if you know some terms you know like in singing and you sing uh, sing okay and maybe not like really polished in you know in yeah. some aspects so it will be it, good is for it, you Will professional singers take this course? I mean, yeah, like, yeah, 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 of course, of course. Like there also are like, people that be famous like here in Israel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a couple of them oh, that okay. are uh, signed and, uh, yeah, and uh, they will All come. Right. Okay, so basically I know that most of you are not in Tel Aviv. So I just mentioned this because I also know that Tigan and also Cheryl uh, will be organizing more of these types of events and yeah. I'll be, you know, telling you guys about them whenever yeah. they come up. Maybe it's in a city nearby. Yeah. All right, so thank you so much for coming by. Okay, man. I had a blast. Yeah, it was very, very fun. Yeah, great very singing. Fun. Um, He's a great teacher, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I do my piano and guitar thing, but... Uh, and guitar, talk about right? This. And, and guitar, yeah. Piano and guitar. I'll talk about it, uh, yeah. you know, more in the future, but uh, yeah, so, so this one was really about you and introducing you to my guys, and I hope we can maybe post parts of the video at your social media if you yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. And we'll be making more music and videos for you guys, and as always... Play more music. Bye.